is the uh, universal chat. It takes place on channel 100, kind of uh, through uh, IRC-like channels. And to get to uh, the chat, all you have to do is push T, and uh, you can type anything you want. Everyone who is currently logged into this channel can join is the uh, universal chat. It takes place on channel 100, kind of uh, through uh, IRC-like channels. And to get to uh, the chat, all you have to do is push T, and uh, you can type anything you want. Everyone who is currently logged into this channel can hear. Uh, I wouldn't recommend spending too much time worrying about that uh, because really most of the game is uh, about combat and trading and uh, working your way up through various factions. So uh, if you're on the trial, I wouldn't spend too much time just chatting. Although if you're more of a social player, but we're here to love this, so let's see. Excellent. So we'll go to fly into the station here. Complete this mission. Now, most of Vendetta Online includes combat, and a majority of it takes place versus this. Uh, rogue entity called the Hive. They're uh, mining robots. Off, uh, working for humanity, but they kind of went out of control and uh, turned against their creators and started going rogue. And uh, when you're starting out, uh, this is probably where most of your uh, enemies are going to be, is in this Hive. And uh, you want to level up by taking missions which send you out to combat the hive. That's probably the quickest way to get levels and um, in order to get into PvP, if you want to be, you really should be at level 4. But we're going to start out with some simple combat versus the hive. Now, you can take, um, oh, let's see. Actually, we have to take our basic flight status test first. So this will give us a little example of uh, what it's like to fight uh, the AI in Vendetta. So this is the basic status test, and uh, you must pass this mission before you can get to any of the other missions. So we'll have to get through this one. So it's asking us to plot a nav route to E1. Go to E1, fly out 3,000 meters, and this becomes more natural as time goes on. You learn what all the various buttons do, uh, but don't worry about it too much at this point. What you know is that uh, N gets you to this screen here where you can plot a nav route, and M takes you right to your mission updates. So we'll get to 3,000 meters here. Fly away. These cool neon signs. This this is actually written in a uh, a language developed entirely for Vendetta Online called Galactic Trade Standard. And some players actually can translate and read it. Uh, it always reminds me of um, of uh, I don't know Blade Runner or Cowboy Bebop. Those types of mission. Those types of uh, cartoons. Okay, uh, and movies, of course. Proceed to doubt A5. Okay, so we got to jump again. A5. I'm sorry if my voice is a little low, a little gravelly. I'm actually getting over a, a bit of a cold right now. Normally, I'm a pretty mellow player, pretty casual, so I tend to uh, sound this way. Um, one thing Vendetta Online does have is integrated voice chat. I believe it's one of the only MMOs that uses voice chat. 
so you can actually hear other players talk to you uh, in voice when you're in a group and that's really useful you don't need to use any uh, third party clients like Skype or anything like that you can just chat to other players using voice right through the game client which is pretty cool right, so we want to kill this guy now this red uh, targeting circle is showing us where you want to aim in order to hit. If uh, you aim at it, yellow there, and when it does, that means you're going to have a successful shot. So try to follow that, and then just fire as soon as it turns yellow. Boom! <laughs> now, if you're familiar with first person shooters, you should know that strafing is key. If you don't want to. the strafe keys are set to A, D, R, and F by default. Uh, w and S is to go forward and backwards. And uh, you're going to be using these a lot when you are fighting. Should also mention that there are two flight modes. Well, there's really only one flight model. But modes that uh, you can use in combat. One is called flight assist, and the other is called physics, which I think is actually a little misleading because the same physics governs both flight models. The only difference is in flight assist your ship's thrusters are helping you to move in a straightforward direction. So it feels a little bit more like flying an airplane. But there's really nothing that you can do in flight assist mode that you wouldn't be able to do in physics theoretically. Uh, the main difference is if you turn off flight assist mode let's see what the default is here I'm not even sure. I'll have to go to controls, keyboard, toggle, flight assist. Where is that? Okay, here we go. It's set to the uh, quote key. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. And one of the immediate differences you'll notice is that the, uh, the flight assist indicator just on the top left of the heads up display goes away and it feels like it will be sliding around on ice a little bit more and that's because you're no longer being corrected in your flight vector so you can move up down the direction you choose and this is useful because uh, you can be flying in one direction turn your ship around point backwards and uh, fire backwards. It's kind of like having super maneuverability in a modern fighter jet. You know, you, there's that Cobra maneuver where you flip around and shoot backwards. So you can do that type of thing in, in Dead Online. It's got a little bit of a different feel. To it. And I like using physics. It gives you a little bit more freedom, but if you want to do the most complex maneuvers, uh, Really, they take switching back and forth between flight assist and physics. Uh, but that's really only when you get to the advanced levels. Uh, flight assist, I find, is really useful um, in a few situations. When you're pursuing another character or target, and when you're trading and you want to fly into an exit dock really quickly or uh, tube racing also uh, when you need to navigate through tight spaces okay so now we're getting let's see four combat drones every 30 seconds we got 30 seconds to take out each combat drone this is like the fourth or fifth part of the test here we go so we'll try to get through this as quickly as we can. These ships are equipped with training blasters, so they actually can't hurt you. Um, they're more just a way to practice dodging. 
The only way they can hurt you is if you get uh, too close to them and their explosion damages your vessel. So that's another reason why it's good to use fish getting because you can't, uh, it's a little easier to maintain your distance. And distance control is something we'll be talking about later. These are cargo widgets. You can actually pick them up by flying over them, bring them back to the station and sell them for profit. Um, and uh, that's a that's a good way to make money. A lot of players actually earn a living by pirating other players. I'm actually part of a guild called the Vipers, which focuses on anti-piracy, meaning we uh, focus on defending traders. Um, and I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that in this tutorial. Just that. Uh, Worthy to know that there are many different guilds out there. Pirates, anti-pirates, traders, nationalists, uh, medics, uh, pretty much what you think of. Um, uh, mining, there's also mining in this game, with the mining asteroids. There are some a few guilds dedicated to that. So you really kind of just uh, need to learn what your play style is and uh, what path you want to follow. Vendetta Online is a very open-ended game. It's kind of a sandbox type game where you can go do anything, be whatever you want to be. Uh, the only limit really is uh, your uh, choices uh, you and imagination. It's fairly open-ended. Okay, so I think that was the last round. Congratulations. Passed the basic flight test test, so now we're going to return to Dow L10. Back to... Thank <laughs> you.